Hi everyone, welcome back. A few months ago, I wrote this blog article series on building a .NET gRPC service along with a client. So today we are going to take a look at how to deploy that to Azure App Service. Platform as a service offering from Azure where you can host many kinds of web services or websites with uh, minimal friction. Um, it provides services like auto-scaling, uh, built-in CI-CD, and also without having to manage any of the infrastructure ourselves. Uh, it also supports many kind of um, runtimes like ASP.NET, Node.js, PHP, Java, Python, and Ruby, etc. And uh, this is very similar to Elastic Beanstalk in AWS. So first, let's clone the repo I have created. Uh, let's head over to GitHub, and under my username, there will be a .NET gRPC repo and uh, you can clone this from uh, with this URL and once you have cloned it make sure that you change the branch to app service that's where I have added all the new uh, code that's related to this one so before we deploy anything we need to create our app service instance first uh, you can do it from the Azure portal so if I go to Azure over here uh, you can click on app services and then you can click on create app service and then from here you can go through the wizard configuring everything that you uh, want but in my case what i have done is i have automated this whole process and uh, put it into an arm template so that you can simply clone the repo and then uh, set up a new instance um, by running a shell script so once you have cloned the repo just make sure that you are on this branch as i said before and uh, you can also do a git branch and see and uh, if not you can simply do a git checkout and uh, the branch name is app service Cool. So let's head over to the bookshop server and then the infrastructure folder. So now we are going to stand up the app service instance by using the ARM templates. So first let's see what we have in this folder. So we have a deploy.sh script and then parameters JSON and template JSON. So what I'm going to do next is to open up the deploy script and uh, show you what we have in there. So as you can see, we take in the resource group name, the location, the template file name, and the parameters file. And then we uh, pass those variables um, and then set them in over here. And then once that's done, uh, we uh, use the Azure CLI to create the resource group like this uh, in the specified location. So you can choose any location that you want. And then uh, once that's done, we call the as group uh, deployment create. And then we pass in those variables uh, that we got from the previous steps. So that's pretty much it. And then from the template side of things, we have these parameters coming in. And then under the resources, uh, we have Microsoft.web slash sites, which is essentially going to be our app service resource. And then this is like a uh, the app service plan uh, that we are going to create. So don't worry about the syntax for now. And uh, let's run this and see that in action. So I will open up the terminal back again. So I'm going to do deploy and then pass in all the parameters so initially it will take a bit of time and then uh, you will be able to see uh, your resources in Azure so everything is done and you, as you can see it says deployment complete so let's head over to Azure portal uh, let's go to resource groups and now we have the resource group as you can see there are two resources one is the azure app service plan and then the other one is the actual app service instance and uh, you can see all the metadata that's related to this instance so once we are in here let's make sure that we have some configuration enabled so let's go to configuration under settings you need to have this http 20 only port uh, which is essentially going to be our http 2 port uh, that's listening to the traffic that's coming in and uh, let's click on general settings. So it's set to .NET, .NET 6. So everything is automated from that script. That's why we have uh, all these things set up. But there is one thing that we can't set from uh, ARM templates, which is this HTTP 2.0 proxy. So you need to enable that and then click on save. So once that's done, uh, you can deploy the application into app service. I will also reiterate what these configuration mean. So HTTP version 2, normally you have this set to 1.1, but gRPC works only on 2.0. That's why we have to set it to 2.0. So when this is enabled, uh, it will forward uh, whatever that's coming in from the traffic, uh, the HTTP 2 traffic specifically, uh, to whatever the um, service instance that we have running on gRPC. So that's that. And then uh, everything else is pretty much default. 
Cool, now that's out of the way, we can deploy our application into the app service. So let's head over to the deployment center and let's click on source. As you can see, there are many options that you can choose from like GitHub, Bitbucket, Local Git and Azure Repos, which is part of Azure DevOps. For this one, I'm going to be only using the Local Git, which is much more easier. So it says the branch uh, has to be set to master. So we will do that configuration uh, while we are on the terminal. Once we have set that, uh, click on FTPS credentials. So under user scope, you need to set a username, password uh, over here so that you can use that uh, when you push your code into the app service uh, and then you will be asked to enter these credentials. And uh, don't forget to click on save. So before we set our local environment, we need to get the Git URL for our app service. So let's head over here and then uh, as you can see, there is this field called git clone URL. Make sure that you copy that. So I'm at the root of the project and what I'm going to do next is to set the remote URL and uh, let's do a git remote add and uh, let's call it Azure and then paste in the URL that you got from the previous step. And also just to make sure, say yep, so that we have the Azure remote URL set over here. We need to first make sure that we have the configuration. So on the left hand side, we have our previous configuration, which we only used to run local in localhost and uh, under port 5000. And as you can see, we enable the HTTP2 endpoint without any TLS. But in production, we can't use that. We need to enable TLS uh, as well as uh, we need to add the configuration for that. So on the right hand side, we have the new configuration. As you can see, we are using the same builder.webhost.configure Kestrel and we are passing in these options. The first one is options.listen any IP on port 8080, uh, that is to accept any traffic. And then the other one is the HTTP2 only port, which is 8585. And then we need to pass in this uh, protocol saying kestrel.co.httpprotocol.http2. And uh, that's all we need to do. And another thing that we need to make sure is uh, we open up the app settings.json and uh, make sure that you have this configuration and nothing else like any other configurations related to Kestrel's port mapping. And now we can deploy this application to app service. Let's head over to the bookshop server. So all we have to do is just to git push and Azure and then uh, our local branch is going to be app service and then uh, it has to be master on the uh, app service side. So initially this will take a bit of time because it's setting up uh, the environment for us. But uh, every subsequent request, uh, it will be much more faster. So once everything is done, you will see this deployment log and it should say deployment successful. So what I'm going to do next is uh, to run the bookshop client application. So in Visual Studio Code, let's open up the bookshop client program.cs file and make sure that you update this url uh, which says the channel grpc channel.4 address so in my case the url is net6 grpc so i'm gonna copy that go back to visual studio code and uh, replace this and make sure that you add this last forward slash otherwise you will run into problems so let's do a dot net run and uh, see what we get from the grpc service yeah as we can see uh, we get the json back uh, from the grpc service and that is expected. Well, uh, that's it. Now you know how to deploy a gRPC .NET web service in Azure. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, let me know. Happy to help.